the women's 400 meter hurdles the world record set by marina stepanova back in 1986 the american mark sandra farmer patrick 1989 53 37 her best time this year a 53 54 had some injury problems some personal problems earlier this year did not run as well as she would have liked at the world championships but uh, she definitely has the best outfit here, Craig Sager. <laughs> she finished fourth in those world championships after stumbling on the last hurdle, but she leads the Grand Prix in this event with a maximum of 45 points. I think winning the overall Grand Prix will be very significant because I look at it as the next biggest meet to the world championship. Since I had a little disappointment at the world championship, I think the Grand Prix would put things back intact and make me feel like I didn't have a wasted season. Sandra Farmer Patrick will be in lane four, but right next to her, the woman who won the world championships, Tatiana Letovskaya of the Soviet Union, and Sally Grunel, also one to watch in lane six. Grunel, a very fast finisher. Letovskaya is sometimes vulnerable in the home stretch. Low start to look like for Farmer Patrick. And also uh, Let of Skaya right ahead of her just sat in her blocks and that's gonna be a disadvantage for her. She's one that needs to get out ahead. Sally Gunnell in lane six got off to a good start. Here comes Sandra Farmer Patrick though really picking up some <laughs> lost time right there. Passing Let of Sky and moving up now on Gunnell. Those are the three we're concentrating on. This is a very strong field, however. Well, despite that slow start, Sandra Farmer Patrick looks very strong as they go into that far turn. On the inside are two other Americans, Kim Batten and Janine Vickers, and Batten running very well now as they come to the home stretch. It's Farmer Patrick first, Batten is second, and running third, Jane Vickers. Here comes Vickers to pass Batten. It's going to be Sandra Farmer Patrick, Jane Vickers, and Kim Batten. The U.S. going one, two, three. Sandra Farmer Patrick loves this track. She won the World Cup Championships here two years ago. And this will be a big confidence boost for her heading into the Olympics next year. It was a strange race, as you said, a little sluggish out of the blocks, but she took command down the backstretch. And here we see her come into the home stretch. It looked like the woman over on the right, Kim Batten, who was an upset winner of the national championships earlier this year, was going to charge down the home stretch. She folded, though, and it was Sandra Farmer Patrick who kept her form on this, the last hurdle, that's the hurdle she had trouble with at the World Championships and went from near the lead to fourth place. And at the end, it was Janine Vickers who won the bronze medal in Tokyo who came on to get second place. What do you think of this outfit of Sandra Farmer Patrick? It's designed by who else? Flojo. Sandra Farmer Patrick runs for the Flojo Track Club. Flojo was the matron of honor at her wedding and they've been uh, the talk of all the big track mates all over Europe this summer. And the winner, Sandra Farmer-Patrick, is with our Nicole Watson. Nicole? <laughs> Sandra, how important was this win, especially after your little mishap at the World Championships? It was very, very important. I just felt this was the next biggest meet to the World Championship. And I had to come back and prove to myself that I could do it. I was a little concerned. Right here, I saw you at the start, and it seems like you got off a little slow. Um, I plan on getting out fast, but I did get out a little slow. But once I got on the back stretch, I started getting back into my race. Okay, this makes you uh, in good contention for the overall leaders for the Grand Prix. Well, actually, you know, I wasn't really thinking about overall. If I become one of the winners, that'd be great. But I was more concerned by beating the field, running a fast time, and winning the Grand Prix final. Okay, thank you. Congratulations to you. Back upstairs. Well, we'll let Sandra Farmer Patrick catch her breath. Meanwhile, Janine Vickers was able to catch Kim Batten at the end to come in second. The world champion, Tatiana Letovskaya, a very disappointing seventh.